is coming very soon. The disciples of Jesus, they sat with him and because he was saying that he will go and he will come back, they wanted to know the signs. They wanted to know about the signs. And in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 3, he says that they came to him privately. Tell us the signs. Tell us the signs. When will these things take place? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end? of the age and in verse 4 he said see that no one deceives you see that no one deceives you mtu wa siwa danganye mtu wa siwa danganye this simply means siku za mwisho Number one thing that will be very easy for us to believe, it will be a lie. Watu wengi watadanganyika. That is the sign number one. That they will, many will be wengi watadanganyika. Lakini nini angalieni kwamba mtu asi watadanganyika. Kumetokea mambo mengi so much is going on that is not true and the Bible says in the book of John chapter 8 and verse 32 that you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free Because he's the Alpha and Omega, 
He's the beginning and the end. Alijua mwisho unakuja na aliona mwisho tokea mwanzo. Akatuambia kwamba muangalie sana msije mkadanganyika. Kumetokea mambo mengi. I might not be able to mention everything. Lakini kwa viwango zako mwenyewe unaweza ukasema kwamba na hapa ni kudanganyika. Pengine utasema hapa tunadanganya. Lakini Yesu alisema tuangalie sana mtu asitudanganye. If you read the King James version it says and Jesus answered and said unto them Take heed Take heed Have a discerning spirit Have ability to see You may see things in another dimension with different perspectives Uione kwa mtazamo tofauti Na ni nini hicho ambacho unaangalia ya kwamba usije ukadanganyika Today I'm here to encourage you with these words. Nataka kukuja uongo kiasi gani? Haiwezi kazidi ukweli. Ukweli ni kwamba hata kama kumetokea magonjwa ya aina nyingi ambayo inaonekana kana kwamba ni kweli ime athiri ulimwengu mzima ukweli ni kwamba by the stripes of Jesus we were healed na uongo ni kwamba ugonjwa huu upo <laughs> na kama ipo basi ukweli tunayo ya kwamba kwa mapigo yake tulipona alijua kutatokea magonjwa mengi when you read the entire scripture you will understand ya kwamba si mara ya kwanza kumetokea magonjwa kama haya yamekuepo tangu jadi lakini Mungu akafanya njia pasipo na njia anasema alituma neno nalo neno likatuponya hiyo ndio ukweli tajua kweli na kweli itaweka huru kwa hivyo angalieni msidanganyike na magonjwa yanayotukia wema wa bwana umezidi matukio ambayo yametokea na takayo tokea baadaye tangaza just one point that god ukweli ni kwamba kwa mapigo yake tumepona hallelujah mengine yote yanaweza kuwa yanaonekana kana kwamba ni kweli kabisa lakini ukweli ni kwamba kwa mapigo ya Yesu sisi tumepona it is just that simple by the stripes of jesus we were healed and therefore i speak healing to your life to everything that concerns you kwa mwili wako kwa kila jambo ambalo linatukia katika maisha yako pokea uponyaji upone upone uponyaji ni wako kwa jina la yesu Kwa mapingo yako ni 
me podas 